welcome to the Grandma Lisa Show. I've got my wild animals with me and Pinky, Coco, Oregon, and they had such a fun time with you the last time that they invited their friend Teddy Bear. So I hope you have your reading animals. If not, go get your reading animals so we can look, learn, and listen together. And I'll meet you right back here because today we've got a great book. Today we are going to read The Boy Who Swallowed Snakes by Lawrence Yep, illustrated by Jean and Mal Shen Tian. There they are. Lawrence Yep is an award-winning author. The Boy Who Swallowed Snakes by Lawrence Yep, illustrated by Jean and Mal Su Tian. Published by Scholastic Incorporated in New York. And here is the copyright. And Lawrence Yep dedicated this book to his great nephew, Esteban. And the illustrator graded, uh, dedicated this book to his niece and nephews. So you ready for some fun? Let's get ready to look, learn, and listen. I will need your help to turn the pages. So we'll go one, two, three, boop. When we're ready to turn the pages, we'll practice. Ready? One, two, three, boop. Good job. So let's get going. Here's the illustration. Get your reading animals ready and let's go. A long time ago in Southern China, forests still covered the hills. In their great green shadow, a small village huddled. And in that village lived a boy named Little Chow and his widowed mother. If you're a little boy, wave your hand. If you have a mother, wave your hand. Great, I see you. They were so poor that they had no land to farm. One day, as he searched the forest for something to eat, little Chow spotted a tree that grew dragon's eyes. That's mom's favorite fruit, he said to himself, and he climbed the tree. As he sat among the branches, little Chow saw a man stumbling along the path beneath them. In his arms, he held a small basket of bamboo. How odd, little Chow said to himself. Though that man wears expensive silk robes, he has no servants to carry his load. See little Chow in the tree? See the man. Oh, we're at the end of the page. You know what to do. Ready to help? One, two, three, boop. Great job. You're such good helpers. The rich man dropped the basket and hurried away. Curious little child climbed down and peeked inside. He found a silver bowl filled with silver coins. Though he was very poor, little Chow was also very honest. He ran after the man. Hey, little Chow panted, you left your silver. Instead of thanking him, the rich man got angry. I don't leave my money lying around. With a strange smile, he quickly left the forest. And here's the illustration. 
Do you see the basket with the silver? Raise your hand if you see the basket with silver. And there's little child being honest. That's a good thing to be honest. He tried to return the money. We're at the end of the page. You know what to do. One, two, three, boop. Good job. Little Chow excitedly dragged the basket at home. Mama, we're rich, he cried. But Mrs. Chow screamed. There's a snake on your leg. When he looked down, little Chow saw a slender serpent coiled around his leg, glowing like a rope of blue. Terrified, he threw the snake away and stamped on it. Can you stamp with your feet? Let's see you stamp. We're gonna stamp together. Stamp, 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 stamp. Good job, good stamping. In the wink of an eye, the snake curled around his leg again. Its body was as good as new. Little Chow and his mother tried to drown the snake in a pot of water, but it returned to the boy's leg and it was dry. They tried to burn it in the stove, but it came back again and it was cool. Here's an illustration. There's little Chow and his mother. We're at the end of the page. You know what to do. A one and a two and a three. Boop. Really good. Let's try that in Spanish. Uno, dos, tres. Boop. Excelente. Que bueno los niños. Very good. Little Chow limped to the house of the wise old woman. However, as soon as she saw Little Chow, the old woman grabbed a broom. Don't bring that evil into my house. It's a cool snake. Here's the old woman with the broom, the wise woman, and Little Chow and his mom. Little Chow scratched his head. Can you scratch your head? Good job, good scratching of your head. What kind of snake is that? Oh, the old woman explained. It's part of the magic of the people who lived here before us. The snake hurts people, steals their treasure and brings the wealth back to its owner. But the coo snake is so dangerous. The owner must have been so scared to keep it. He probably left silver to trick you into taking the snake. If you don't use the snake, the snake will become angry and hurt you instead. Little Chow said bravely, I won't harm anyone. I can't destroy the snake, but I know one way to get rid of this evil. Little Chow picked up the snake and swallowed the snake. Gulp! Before anyone could stop him, his mother slapped his back to make him spit it out. Now you're going to get hurt, she wailed. It will be so painful, the wise woman predicted. And here's the picture. And we're at the end of the page. Uno, dos, tres. Boop. Good job. Thanks for helping me. You're awesome. And here's the illustrations. Little Chow stood still and waited to something sad and painful would happen to him while his mother wept and while his feet began to ache. So he sat down and so did his mother and so did the wise woman. By sunset, his mother had cried out all her tears. Little Chow was beginning to feel embarrassed. How much longer do I have to wait? He asked the wise woman. 
by now you should have had so much pain gruesomely. The wise woman poked little Chell with her broom. I could have sworn that was a coo snake. Mrs. Chow sniffed, some people just can't handle being wrong. Some people just can't handle being cursed, the wise woman grumbled. Quit cluttering up my doorway. Go away. Here's the picture. Beautiful illustration. We're at the end of the page. You ready to turn the page? Thanks for helping me. One, two, three. Boop. Good job. Wow, look at this. This is the next illustration. Are you ready, Freddy, for the words? Here we go. When they returned home, a light suddenly flashed out. A little child's stomach. He, it darted towards his mom. She ducked quickly. What's that, she asked. The light zipped over her head and streaked across, past the night sky like a meteor. Little child stared up in astonishment as the light split into two snakes, uno dos, each about the size of little child's forearm. This is my forearm. Do you have a forearm? You should. Some people have two forearms. I have one forearm and two forearms. Very good. You found your forearms. Good for you. Little child seized a snake in each hand. I'll get rid of them just like the first, he said. He ate both snakes before his mother could stop him. That's enough. Come into the house now, said Mrs. Chow. You're more likely to die of cold than from a coo snake. And there's the picture. Who can see little Chow's dog? And there's his mom. And there's little Chow. We're at the end of the page. Are you ready? One, two, three. Boop. Good job. Thanks for your help. You're awesome. Okay, look at, wow, these are really good illustrations. Here we go. Check this out. How beautiful is that? Wow. You ready for the words? Ready, Freddy? The next morning, little child's stomach sparkled and then a light flashed out into the night sky. It burst like a rocket into 50 smaller flames. The lights turned into 50 snakes. Do you know how big 50 is? That's five zero. If you want to help me count by tens, we'll get there. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 50 snakes. Wow. In Spanish, is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 50 serpientes. That's amazing. The snakes started into the house. They played games upon the table and benches. They painted with soot from the black stove. They drummed their tails against the pots. Their bodies glowed. Filling the house with flickering lights. Little child's mother blinked her eyes. Can you blink your eyes? Let's see. Good job blinking your eyes. We'll do it together. Ready? One, two, three. Blink, 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 blink. Good job. Little child's mother blinked her eyes. They're better than candles or oil lamps. I wish we could sell them. We'd sell the evil too. Little Chow swept five snakes into his fist, but his mother scolded him. Evil or not, you might as well eat them like a civilized person, she said. She gave little Chow a rice bowl and a pair of chopsticks. So there we are.
And we're at the end of the page. Ready? One, two, three. Boop. Thanks for your help. The next evening, here's the next pictures. And here's the words. The next evening, there were 100 snakes, each the size of little Chow's index finger. So here's your thumb. Can you see your, show me your thumb? Good job. And this right next to the thumb is your index finger. See, here's Grandma Lisa's index finger. Got it? And you know what this is, right? Pinky, it's your pinky finger. See? There's my teddy bear named Pinky, like this. Here's your four, here's your index finger, and here's your thumb. Good job. The next morning, there were a hundred snakes, each the size of little child's index finger. Oh, let's talk about 100. If you were to write 100 down, it would be one, zero, zero. So if we were to count by 10 to 100. Remember, we counted to 50 by 10. Now we'll count to 100 by 10. So if you know, you come and help me. Okay, ready? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. That was awesome. Now we'll do it in Spanish. Vamos a cantar en español. Listo. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 100. Qué bueno. So 100 or 100 in español or in Spanish. Good job. Super proud of you. The next evening, there were 100 snakes, each the size of little Chow's index finger. They flew around and around like a flock of stars. They're my little night lights, little Chow said. When he had collected all of them, he cheerfully fried them with a little garlic. Yum, yum, yum. I've never had so much meat in my life. He offered a helping to his mother, but she declined. I don't care for snake meat. The following night, there were a thousand snakes, each the size of a little child's thumb. Can you see, show me your thumb? This is my thumb. They flashed about the night sky as if they were playing tag with the stars. These little child boiled in a spicy stew. Do you know how big a thousand is? We'll count by one hundredths to a thousand. You ready? If you know, come and help me. One thousand is equal to one hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred, eight hundred, nine hundred, a thousand. It's a big, big number. So that's why it's one, zero, zero, zero. That's huge. Okay. And I need your help to turn the page. Ready? One, two, three. Boop. Good job. You did great. And here we go. Here's the picture. Fantastic. For 10 nights, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, 10 nights, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. In English, for 10 nights, the snakes flashed through the air like tiny comets. It looked as if the stars had fallen from the sky and emptied into the courtyard. We must bury the snakes so deep they won't bother us. Mrs. Chow decided, who will help us? She called out to the crowd. A farmer named Ox slowly stepped forward. For one piece of silver, I'll dig a hole deep as a well, but no amount of silver would make me touch those snakes. 
After Farmer Ox dug the hole, he left with his piece of silver. And here's Farmer Ox digging the hole. And there's little Chow and his mama with all the glow in the dark snakes. And we're at the end of the page. Ready? One, two, three, boop. Good job. And here's the next illustrations. Are you ready for the words? Are you ready, Freddy? Raise your hand if you're ready. All right, good job. The very next day, Farmer Ox went to town, but to his dismay, no one could make change for so much money. Go to Mr. Aye. He's very rich, suggested the letter writer. So Farmer Ox went to Mr. Ah Yang's mansion. Where did you get this silver piece? Demanded Mr. Ah Yang, who had recognized his own money. I earned it with my great courage, boasted Farmer Ox. I helped the boy Get rid of a house full of snakes. Here's the picture again. Let's turn the page, but let's do it in Spanish this time. Uno, dos, tres, boop. Que bueno, excelente niños. And here's the new picture. Are you ready, Freddy, for the words? Mr. Al Young grew thoughtful. Hmm. I got rid of the coo snake because I was afraid that it would turn on me. But a mere boy has found a way to multiply the snakes. If one snake could make me wealthy, how much could... 10,000 snakes steal. I must find this boy. Okay, they brought up a new number, 10,000. Have you heard of that number before? If you have, raise your hand. Oh, good, you've heard of it before. Cool. So then you can help me count. We'll count by thousands to 10,000. So if you want, you can help me. Ready? 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, 10,000. Now, if we were to write 10,000, it would be one, zero, comma, zero, zero, Zero. It's a big number. Okay. <coughs> Here we go. Mr. Alien grew thoughtful. And he finished saying, if one snake could make me wealthy, how much could 10,000 snakes steal? I must find this boy. Now, side note from Grandma Lisa. Is stealing good? No. Stealing's never good. It always gets you in trouble. Do you want to steal from people? No. Stealing's a bad idea. So, thumbs down to stealing. Right? Bad idea. Don't want to steal. So is Mr. Ao Yang's idea about stealing good? No, it's bad. So let me see your thumbs down, bad look face. Like you just ate something horrible. Ready? One, two, three. Bad. That's just stealing, right? Do we want to steal? No, bad idea. Okay. 
Mr. Ao Yang changed Farmer Ock's silver piece and sent him away. Then he called for his chair. Follow that farmer back to his village, he ordered. And here's the picture. So back then, very, very rich people, instead of driving in a car, sat in a sedan chair and people carried them. So there you see it. And we're ready to turn the page. Ready to help? One, two, three. Boop. Good job. And here's the next illustrations. Are you ready for the words? Little Chow's house was easy to find because thousands of tiny night lights dashed inside and outside, above and below. The snakes had zipped out of the ground at the same hour as they used to from Little Chow's stomach. Mr. Ayang pushed his way through the crowd. What are you doing with my pets? He demanded. Little Chow picked up a basket. So you admit that the snakes are yours? Mr. Ch Mrs. Chow glared at Mr. Ao Yang. And I suppose the silver is yours too? Mr. Ao Yang shook his head. Keep the money. I'll have plenty more. Ha 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 ha. Soon enough. Here's the picture again. And look, the dog's trying to protect his family. Good dog. Do you see the snakes? Raise your hand if you see the snakes. Good. And raise your hand if you see the dog. Very good. Okay, I need your help to turn the page. Ready? One, two, three. Boop. Excellent. Here's the new illustrations. Are you ready, Freddy, for the words? The moment little Chow handed his basket to Mr. Ah Young, the night lights disappeared. Only one slender snake remained, coiled around the rich man's arm. Mr. Ah Young waved his arm. Get it off me, he shrieked. Little Chow was puzzled. You wanted it back. Besides, a snake never hurt me. Oh, oh yes, of course, Mr. Ah Young hastily replied. But I expected uh, more than one snake. You'll get more if you eat this one, Little Chow explained. Oh, <laughs> Mr. Ah Young stared at the snake in disgust. The snake gazed back distastefully at him. It didn't disagree with your stomach? Oh, not at all. Try it with a little garlic and soy sauce, little Chow suggested helpfully. I'm no country bumpkin, Mr. Ah Young sniped back. I eat it in a sauce fit for the emperor. Take me back to my mansion, he ordered his servants. And there's a picture. Raise your hand if you can see the snakes. Raise your hand if you can see little Chow. Good job. Good hand raising. Ready to turn the page? Please help me. One, two, three. Boop. Good job. You guys are such good helpers. And here's the pictures. Fantastic. As soon as he returned home, Mr. Ah Young announced a big celebration. Tonight, I'm going to become richer than the emperor. Ha, 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 he bragged. That night, musicians and jugglers, acrobats and singers and dancers entertained Mr. Ajong 
when he sipped the finest wines from his favorite jade cup and nibbled rare delicacies from gold platters because he trusted no one with his snake, Mr. Ah Yang commanded his chief to cook the snake at the banquet table. However, the rich man's heart was greedy where little child's heart had been pure. The instant Mr. Ayang took a bite, he felt a great pain in his stomach. He fell upon the table, wriggling about on his belly. Dozens of food and jugs of wine were knocked to the floor. The servants ran, screaming from the mansion, leaving their master to be very painful and sad on top of his banquet table. So the coup snake had its revenge on the greedy master who tried to abandon it. And here's the illustration. Who can see the acrobat? Raise your hand. And we're at the end of the page, ready to help. We'll do it in Spanish this time, ready? Uno, dos, tres. Boop. Excelente. As little Chow and his, and his mother, oh, I'll show you the page. Sorry. Good job. As for little Chow, he and his mother used the remaining silver to buy the most fertile land in the village they planted rice fields with the finest seed they could find, and so they became wealthy through their wits and hard labor. And though little child was content with his good fortune, on clear nights he would gather with his family and watch the servants set off fireworks until the sky seemed like a garden full of flashing stars. But it was never the same as when he hid his very own magical night lights. And there they are with the fireworks for this family and village. And we'll close the book. Thank you so much for joining me today with all your reading animals. That was so 